Good morning. It's Thursday morning here in Cypress, Texas. Today's a big day for me. Huge day. Man. Um, what happened? Um, oh, goodness. The, uh, I had somebody call me up and they, um, they had a dream that the Archangel Michael had uh, told him there's going to be this huge battle and he needs to wear a St. Michael pendant and that will protect him from any harm during this battle. So he goes and gets, goes to the Catholic Church and gets this, this pendant, right? Oh, he tells his wife, she thinks he's crazy, right? Now I got some advice on how to talk to this guy. And I hadn't, I'm like, how, how do I talk to these people? These people can call me all the time with stuff. Like, you wouldn't believe it. I'm like, why are they calling me? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's because I was a Navy SEAL. Isn't that crazy? People think, people think that uh, Navy SEALs, you know, we knew all about aliens. <laughs> and there's some guys, there's some guys that are talking and stuff. They're, they're, they're saying, you know, that they had these, you know, whatever. Uh, the, it, some people just, it, it just goes beyond, beyond belief. The stuff that they'll feed you. Oh, my God. I remember being in the Panama invasion. Now, there was four Panamanian guys. Um, they were the UE sat. They were Noriega's bodyguards. They were, um, they were Israeli trained anti-terrorist team that Noriega turned into his bodyguards in this hangar. And we had this huge fight. There was like 30 guys online just I mean, it's something out of a movie. Have you ever seen that movie, The Gauntlet, with Clint Eastwood, where they just shoot this, they just shoot up this house. The firefight in Panama on Pikesia Airfield eclipsed that. Okay. It was, the ground was shaking. The, the firefight was so intense, right? But there's only like four guys in that hangar. But there's this one guy today telling uh, telling everybody that, that there was so many more people in that hangar. You know, like there was a battalion <laughs> in that hangar or something like that, you know. But it was those four guys. Right? And one of them got away. He did all the damage to our guys. He was up in the second story window. We, they missed him. And he was shooting our guys. Anyway, the point is, people will embellish. Okay, so I this guy calls me up, tells me he's had a visitation from the Archangel Michael. And he told him it was going to be this great battle. Right? So I'm like, how do I? So I'm talking to another guy from our church. And he goes, hey, tell him what the symbolism means. You know? That the angels are messengers, right? And, you know, so I'm like, all right, here we go. So I call this guy up and I tell him that what we're learning is the symbolism, the true meaning of these words 
in the Paleo Hebrew. And then, uh, so angels are messengers. Okay. And second time I went to this church, the bishop's saying, the, the, in Revelations, the angels in Revelations, they're us. You know, heaven is here, heaven's now. We just have to make it that way. That's my interpretation. He, he said, you know, heaven's in us, it's in our mind. And the less of us, and less of our own carnal desires, the more of Jesus we become those angels. And the battle, we become the messengers, that's what angels are. The battle is getting everybody else to understand this revelation, these revelations, the, in, the true interpretation, what the, what the Bible is really saying when you know the symbolism, when you know Paleo-Hebrew, Hebrew, right? And so I'm telling this to this guy, and he's like, okay, that makes sense. And then it hit me that the bishop, his name is Michael, right? And I pointed that out to him, and I got him to read. See, I got him to, to look up Actus Behind the Veil and read Bishop Michael Petro's book. And that settled him for sure, right? But uh, that's the f that's my first time successfully trying to talk about what I've learned, other than doing these videos. You know, so I'm like, oh wow, I can do it. So. I'm happy about that. All right. Have a great Thursday. I know I'm going to. All right. Bye.